to do in the future? Oh. I want to go to England. It starts with me. That's the message OPWDD is sending with our new Coordinated Assessment System, CAS, or CAS. Unlike the assessments of the past, which focused on fitting an individual into a pre-existing mold, the CAS looks at the person seeking supports holistically, focusing on his or her strengths, needs, and interests. That information becomes the foundation of a person-centered plan, and it starts when you come through our front door. The assessment process is meant to really shape the way that a support plan can be developed in a manner that makes it person-centered and aligns with the person's interests and the, identifies the areas where supports are needed for the person to live the, the life that they want to live. So how does it work? It begins with a conversation. Uh, this conversation in a very sensitive way with the individual and the advocates or family uh, and all the other pieces of information is um, a humanistic and a scientific process to really identify the key needs. The assessment takes place in a location that's most comfortable for the person receiving services. For many, that's at home, surrounded by the people who matter most. Having the self-assessment conducted in our homes is just going to make that experience much more real, um, more comfortable. You know, uh, maybe things can be discovered and explored upon that wouldn't have otherwise been. When you're, when you're going to, you know, an office setting, it's not always as comfortable. Um, I know for my son, he, he's not going to open up as much. He's, he's sensitive to his surroundings. The assessment being conducted in the home, it, it just, it's his home. He's comfortable. So he, he's going to talk. He's going to disclose more things. You know, and so am I as the parent. So what kind of questions can you expect? Uh, the assessment specialist will ask questions. Um, that relate to their community and social involvement, to the individual strengths, the types of relationships that they have with other people in their lives, um, people who provide support to them in some way. We'll also gather some information about their lifestyle and their preferences, um, look at the environmental needs that the person might have. Assessors will gather information about the person's goals, areas where they have skills, and areas where supports are needed such as communication skills and community safety skills. They'll ask about health or medical conditions and related treatments. They'll gather information about the individual's level of independence and ask about daily activities and areas where support changes may be desired. The assessment specialists will also gather information about how the person's mood is, what their behavior is like on a day-to-day -day basis, um, what medications the person may be taking for different um, mental health issues or medical health issues. It will also gather information about what types of supports and services the person receives now um, and perhaps what are some things they might like to receive moving forward into the future. All of the information will be available in one place. Having a coordinated assessment system again allows a complete picture of a person now it's a picture, a snapshot in time, and of course our individuals are very, very dynamic. But this gives us a jumping off point as to where we need to go to develop a plan of care for an individual. Parents many times are worried that uh, needs that their families have are not going to be identified. This system does just the opposite. This pulls information from all over and then takes the highest priority ones and pulls those to the top, the ones that sensibly should be worked on right now. It's interesting because sometimes parents hear, you know, about an assessment tool and they, they may get nervous thinking that um, somehow the information will not be an adequate reflection of their son or daughter. As he changes, as my son changes, as his needs are met and new needs arise, you know, the tool affords for that. It affords opportunity to explore, you know, those things within his life that, that are going to identify new needs. I think parents um, should be excited about this transition because 
the assessment really is going to gather very individual, personal, specific information about their son or daughter that is going to result in the most person-centered, um, individualized care coordination plan possible. And that's really not something that has existed, I think, to the same extent in OPWDD before now. When you really look at it holistically, when you look at this, the big picture, uh, if I was the individual being assessed, I would say, what a nice process, it's starting with me. It's not just starting with paper, it's not starting with a report, it's not starting with what somebody else says about me, it's starting with me. The OPWDD Coordinated Assessment System, it starts with me. For more information, visit www.opwdd.ny.gov.